during this pandemic. So um, in this presentation, we will give you some insight about the uh, job post related to the company size and job posts to the uh, industry and the skills and keywords in the job description. I mean, the, the term frequencies and uh, and what kind of industry provide the well paid and does the locations matter? And finally, we will give you the best strategy for you to um, either find a high chance to find a, a data analyst job or get a highest pay um, job in, in the United States. <laughs> so um, here is our data in the variable. Um, it's totally around 2,000 jobs listing the uh, list in the glass store and the variables mostly are about a, a salary but the salary is in a um, in a range so after consult to the professor uh, he gave us the advice that we should um, take the median number for the range and for the job description I think this is the most important uh, most hard part in our project because mostly our words are um, it's text, so we have to convert it to the binomial variables, and it also have the industry, uh, class, class, and uh, some location information. So let's go explore our data. So um, in this map, we find um, the the company size are averagely around level three to level four, which means uh, the total employees are around like 200 to 1000. But um, as you uh, as we uh, explore deeply, we found it's not true because uh, the distribution for the company size, you can see in a figure uh, right side, uh, mostly are from um, above above like 1000 and lower than 200. So uh, as you can watch to the, to the left side of the table, you can see um, uh, the company size lower than 500 and above than 500 provide uh, equal jobs in the list. But um, due to the, uh, according to the United States government census, we found um, only 0 0.3% uh, companies are above 500 employees. So. Uh, it mean, in other words, it means 99.7% of the companies are uh, can be considered as small companies. Because in the United States, the definition of a small uh, small business is only I mean the the, the classification of the business on, is only small business or not small business. So mm. we can find 0.0% of the companies provide the most uh, jobs in 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 our data analyst market. And as you can see, um, this this is part. Uh, we can find um, the data analyst jobs are most provided from the information technology and the business service uh, industry. So uh, if I were you, I would suggest uh, I, I would go for list two field and um, not dream for like a finance or healthcare or manufacturing. Question: This is, this is for um, uh, business analyst positions only, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All for yeah, business yeah. analysts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we all change it to the binomial data. Mm -hmm. Yep. So okay, so let's look at the uh, average salary to the different industry. So as you can see, the top three uh, highest salary industry is real estate and pharmaceuticals and uh, entertainment. And the lowest three are food service and mining and travel and tourism. So um, I think this data is in uh, is around 2017, so it's before pandemic. So now might be slight change, especially to the travel and tourism. I think it will be lower. So let's look at the average salary by states. So and as everybody can see, um, I mean, intuitionally, no one know um, California gives the highest pay. So yes, it is, but. Uh, look at the other lowest uh, for Alta, Georgia, and Ohio. They provide the lowest pay. Yeah. So if you want to choose the uh, high salary um, states, I think the top three you can you can have it. And for the uh, for the states provide the most BA jobs, um, I think uh, there's 
uh, California, Illinois, and Texas. So yeah, fortunately we're in Texas, <laughs> and obviously you know uh, California always let be the best. So let's uh, ignore it. Okay, so here's the um, uh, how should I say it? the term frequencies in about uh, around all data, uh, all job descriptions. So you can see the top one. Okay, the top one always years, which means you need to have the experience. But how can we have experience? Okay, so the, the second SQL. So SQL is really really important. So that's why it is the required uh, class we have to take. And interestingly, we find um, Python and uh, SAS. You, you see SAS. There's only two ninety nine. Okay, I, I don't comment it. Um, it's yeah, more than so R. like <laughs> an R. Okay, economics. It's not real, real important things in data analysts. Okay, not I say that, data say that. So let's go oh, to the, the way, model. Communications was pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to the model. So firstly, I want to give you the overview of the how I uh, defined west, east, and middle. So as you can see, I uh, I make Illinois and Texas to uh, our middle part. So yeah, this is our predict model, and uh, I run our predict model with states and most important uh, keywords because I use the uh, model selection. I use uh, backward model selection in R. So finally, I, I get this model. So you, you know, as you can see, the most important, I mean, most significant and biggest effect are from uh, locations. And Can you, so we don't really get much out of the first one. Uh, not much. Oh, yeah, I, I will give you the oh, you explanation okay. next yeah. next slide. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So as you can see, um, we have uh, mostly all all our binomial data, and these effects are mostly significant in 0.5% level. And so you can see the top highest location is California, Illinois, and the New Jersey, which is uh, pretty similar to our, uh, our explorer data part. And OK, let's go to the, the uh, how should I say this? keywords part. So um, most mostly the negative effect variables are uh, have the highest frequency. So, but when you have to um, take that because even that is negative, you have to you have to do it. Like SQL, like database, you can see that it's like minus 1.6. But I think it's it's uh, it's pretty normal to get this result because most the effects are uh, generated from from the location. So after we we uh, put a location variable in our um, in our equation, so uh, the effect will be always small. Yeah. So, um, but here's still some insight we can get. Python, Web, and Oracle are the positive. Uh, so there might be the good choice for you. One okay. minute. So. Finally, this is our recommend st strategy for most of the data analyst students. I mean, who wants to apply that? So, if you want the highest chance to find a job, okay, the location would definitely be California, Illinois, and Texas. So, yeah, fortunately, we are in Texas. So, skills, uh, SQL, and statistics, Excel, Tableau, and English are the most Im important part. Even you know, everybody knows that's important, but yeah, although they, they have negative effect on our equation, but I still recommend you to have it. You are not care about pay, you care about you have or not have the job. So the industry, I would, I would say business service and information technology will be your priority and focus on the big company because only a loose 0.3 companies uh, give the 50% of the jobs in whole industry. So yeah, for the highest pay oriented, yeah, you can see always California, Illinois, and New York. So um, and the skills you might need to have is Python, Web, and Oracle. Industry, okay, real estates, uh, 
pharmaceutical, especially you can, you know, during this pandemic and the entertainment. For a company size, I think it doesn't matter if you are, you know, you're professional and you have experience. So if you got experience, you know, or or it's not our, our analysis is not it doesn't matter. So this right. is our reference. Okay, well, we have a reference for our uh, by our government and by the uh, the data set on Kaggle. Okay. So yeah, finally, this is our special offer in pandemic. The whole bundle of our data and code is only free for this class today. Okay, take your screenshot, take your photos, and you know, take your cell phones to get the QR code. Yeah, finally, thank you. Thank you. All right.